Okay, this is what we have. This is Nusantra OS version 4.6 based on Android 12.1. And yes, the new update is out with the June security patch as expectedly. A lot of things have been added. Uh, actually, Nusantra OS is actually one of those custom moments which includes cool customizations and features. And if you want to take a look at all those features and customizations, stay tuned. I'm going to talk about some few of the things which you have in Nusantara OS latest version. And yes, the version which I'm talking about in this video is Android version 12L. Of course, it's based on this Android 12L, which we have the June security patch. Nusantara OS version 4.6. Link for all the official website is already available in the description link for all the official devices. The website link is already available in the description, which you can go and find it out. This is a default UI, a default wallpaper which you have. A lot of wallpaper options are there and the best thing is you have the quick wallpaper picker. As far as I know, I tried, uh, I have noticed in a lot of custom rooms that in rooms which we have a lot of customizations, a quick wallpaper picker is not there. But in this custom room, we have that. And yes, unexpectedly, this includes pixel launcher pre-installed. That's something really interesting as a lot of custom rooms are giving you their modified launchers. But in this one, we have this kind of launcher, pixel launcher. Another thing which I have noticed in battery section is a battery charge warning. This is the second new thing which is added in this latest update in Sundra OS 4.6. Now you have the option to enable the battery charge level warning. So yes, you can simply set the battery level and whenever your battery reaches at that level, then it will ring. So yes, that might be helpful for you. If you want to charge your device at certain percentage, or if you forget after plugging in your in your device if you move on to the icon manager options one more thing let me show you you have the option for privacy indicator for location camera or mic access indicator and yes this was also not available in the previous versions as far as i know so yes this is also one of the things which is added and yes vorti icon 4g icon etc etc in Nusantara OS or in almost every custom we have these options available to use or simply enable or disable any icon like this you need to restart your system UI and that option is also present so no worries about it if we move on to the game space where we found some things for example it includes extra game space options for example like you don't have these things in the normal pixel gaming dashboard you have the option for disable heads up or etc etc you can adjust the overlay if you want to lock cheshire is also there this game space is now right now available in a lot of custom rooms whichever i found but one thing which i found here is this you can choose you can use this gaming mode in most probably in all the devices in all the apps whichever you have installed so far this seems to be quite good as far as i know it was not like that in some of the custom rooms in some custom rooms we don't have this option available you can only use only few of the games or automatically or dynamically but in this one this is quite good if we move on to the settings option if i take a look at the themes option i also found something interesting called dynamic system bar if i enable this option dynamic status bar then whichever app you will open for example the app has the green background then your status bar will be in green mode if you device in if the app has the white pink or any other background your status bar will be themed like that so yes that option is there so if you find this useful you can use this thing if you want to other than else yes you have some fonts customizations where you can use any other custom fonts if you want to i'm using harmonious sense which is quite good one if you move on to other options yes as expectedly custom on it theming and some other theming options are already there if you take a look at the notification options as you can see notifications has almost same kind of things available for you in miscellaneous you have the screen of animation which was one of the most interesting feature in some previous times but right now a lot of users don't care this care of this but yes this is also quite interesting if you want to use a crt or scale animation for screen off you can use this thing if you want to by the way it's about users own preference and opinion you also have the option to hide apps this is quite good as you have the pixel launcher pre-installed so you need these kind of things in a lot of custom room in the lot of custom launcher features we have the hide apps option available but as pixel launcher does not contain that but it is in was in settings giving you this feature so that's also quite good swipe to screenshot as expectedly you need this that's already there you have the unlimited google photo storage and unlock higher fps in games quite quite good
Lock screen customization is as expectedly for small clock. You need this thing. Charging animation, which you can disable if you want. If you don't want to use that ripple animation, you can simply disable that. Lock screen charging info you definitely need because you want to take it out that how much charging volt or your current your your device is having. If your device has the fast charge support or not with this custom room, that might be helpful for you. Status bar customizations as expected, really some battery options, clock options, icon manager, etc. If you take a look at the battery options, let me show you one more thing. If we take a look at the battery options, we have the battery styles available where you have the style ABC for landscape right, style ABC for landscape left. So three types of styles for landscape right and left, which means they're just expanding the same kind of thing, but in different styles. So not adding extra battery styles, but doing this instead of that it's up to them it's not a big deal but yes whatever you find comfortable with you can use that icon and you can use that thing on your device if you want to if you take a look at some other options for example the battery charging light which you can enable or disable if you want to the quick settings also has a clear all notification button option as an option available if you want to use this option you can if you don't want to you can disable that data usage is also quite useful that's already there you can display the data usage summary in quick settings footer if you want to the brightness slider position etc etc already present there we also have some other options related to buttons and navigation which you can go find out and explore this section does not include major things but yes this is not a big deal if you want to take a look at for example in buttons you have the volume panel on left so and volume rocker wake both of these options are sometimes kind of useful kind of not but in navigation you have the option for extended swipe action i found a lot of users love this thing as i am not one of those by the way but yes i found some users were using this and i'll try to use this thing and i'll try to tell you that how this is or working fine or not and another interesting thing about Nisantara OS is as, as I just mentioned, you have the option, you have the toggle for unlimited Google Photo storage and that's working perfectly fine. This will work as you can see unlimited Google Photo storage in original quality. So yes, it will spoof your device to Pixel and then Google will think you are using Pixel, etc. blah blah blah. And yes, you have this unlimited Google Photo storage. We also have some wallpapers options available. This room actually has some Nusantara wallpapers, space and a lot more. In Nusantara, yes, you have three or four approximately wallpapers available. You have some approximately five wallpapers actually available. Space, kind of few, five or six wallpapers here. Strange Dimension includes a lot of wallpapers. Unsplash, we have some few of the wallpapers available here too. On device wallpaper, this is the default one after installing this room on your device for the first time. So this was about the wallpapers. If you take a look at the security thing, which I have just missed it out, we have the face lock, we have the fingerprint lock, all these options are there. You don't have to worry about anything else as app lock is also present. It's up to you if you want to use this thing or not. And one more thing, if I move on to the gesture options, gestures are working perfectly fine. Other than else, these were things which you have in this latest Nusantara OS. There might be some few of the changes which might I have missed or might I have already told you. So these were things I just want to let you know. And if you want to install this build as I just mentioned, link for the official website is already there. If your device has the official support, go and install this build right now if you find this room good. And you also if you find this video useful for you, make sure to like this. Also share. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.